everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the bean stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. Now if you have followed my stitch tutorial on the Elizabeth stitch, you will see that this stitch is quite similar. The Elizabeth stitch is sometimes referred to as the mini bean stitch. So this is the bean stitch. Uh, uh, similar to the Elizabeth stitch, you have this uh, crossed design. The bean stitch though will give you a bigger texture so a more sturdy fabric it's going to work up quite heavy if you're working it into a blanket or throw uh, or uh, possibly a heavy shawl or something like that. Now uh, today for this tutorial I'm going to be working with the Karen times Pantone merino blend yarn and I'm going to be pairing it with a six millimeter crochet hook. I'm so happy that you've joined me today and I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. So grab your yarn and a crochet hook and let's learn how to crochet the bean stitch. Now our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can be any even number of stitches, so any uh, even multiple. And uh, today I'm going to start by chaining a total of 20. There's 10. 15, 18, 19, and 20. So once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to work your first row uh, of single crochet stitches. So you're going to skip that first chain and in the second chain from your hook, work your first single crochet stitch and then single crochet in each chain all the way across. Once you come to the end of your foundation chain, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work our first row of bean stitches. First thing you're going to do is work one single crochet in that first stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and in the next you're going to work your first bean stitch. To work the bean stitch you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Next you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook. You're going to repeat that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. When you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. Chain one. Next, you're going to skip one and then in your next stitch, work your next bean stitch. So we're now going to repeat what we just did. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over and draw up a loop, four loops, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop with six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and chain one. You're then going to repeat that all the way across, skip one, bean stitch in the next stitch, all the way to the end of your row. At the end of your row, you're going to work a single crochet in that final stitch. My final bean stitch, I've chained one, skip one, and single crochet in that final stitch. That's what you'll have at the end of your second row. You're then going to chain one, turn your work, and continue working the bean stitch. You're going to start by working a single crochet in that first stitch. And then you're going to find the place where 
where you will work your next bean stitch. If you take a look at the row below, you have uh, your bean here. And then if you pull it apart a little bit, you'll see a loop or an opening right here. So it's not the chain one that's at the very top of the stitch, but the one next to it. Okay, when you pull it apart, you can see it a little bit more clearly. Into this opening is where you're going to work the next bean. So insert your hook into that opening, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, insert, drop another loop, and repeat that one more time. Yarn over, pull through all six, and chain one. So you can see it's been uh, offset a little bit. You're then going to skip the next bean stitch and work the next one again in that space. And you're going to continue that all the way across. Just like so, I'll work these final stitches and then I'll show you what to do when you hit your final stitch in the row. This one here, this is my final bean. chain one and then into that final single crochet I'm going to work a single crochet stitch. So that's what your work should look like. This pattern from here on in is a one row repeat so you're going to repeat exactly what you did in the previous row all the way across and work that as far as you would like the pattern uh, to continue. And that's all there is to working this bean stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much and happy crocheting. Bye.